Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Exotic Gaming. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'll be telling you all about five of the best looking and most realistic mobile FPS games for iOS and Android or both types of devices. These games look so realistic, they push the boundaries of what's possible for mobile gaming. I mean, take a look at this game. It literally looks like real life body cam footage. And then this game is literally real life. There are real people in this game. I don't even know how it's possible. It is crazy. We're gonna start things off talking about a game that looks very reminiscent of the viral PC game Unrecord. Unrecord went viral a couple of months ago because it literally looked like military body cam footage of people going into a building and then shooting some enemies and stuff like that. This is the mobile equivalent of that game and it's awesome. We're going to continue on talking about Modern Warfare Mobile. This is a fan favorite. I've talked about it many times in past videos, including literally my last video. It's made by one developer in China known as DY Visual Media, and he's done a fantastic job so far. This game looks so far superior to Warzone Mobile in terms of the weapon design, the reloads, the inspections, the character design, the execution, stuff like that. It is awesome and definitely a game that you might want to try out. We'll talk about what I personally think is the best overall complete mobile FPS game for iOS and Android. It's Arena Breakout. I'm sure you're not surprised about that. This game finally released globally, and it's awesome. It's an Extraction style shooter similar to Escape from Tarkov and it's got some of the best looking graphics I have ever seen in a mobile first person shooter. Second to last we'll talk about a game that I've talked about in a past video a few months ago but it literally looks like it has RTX graphics. It's a very graphically impressive game. You can't do too much in it right now but I think the developer is going to continue doing more stuff to it and I think eventually you're actually going to have a more complete game with that one. And then finally we're going to talk about a game that is literally real life. Like I don't really know how to even describe this game, but this game actually has real life footage with real people, real weapons in a video game. It is crazy to me and it's basically kind of like you're in the first person view of this guy that's in the mafia in southern Europe in the Mediterranean. I don't really know. It's crazy, but we'll talk about that at the end of the video. I really hope you all do enjoy this video. If you do, please take a second and leave a like and comment down below if you would like to continue seeing videos where I talk about lots of different games all in one video. Subscribe for more mobile gaming content on all sorts of different mobile games. I make videos on everything from high energy heroes to need for speed, battle prime, low end games like special forces group three. I make videos on them all. So uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get things started with game number one. So let's get things started talking about record. It's literally called record and it's pretty ironic because it's the mobile version of that popular viral PC game from a couple of months ago called unrecord. That was unrecord. This is record. So it's kind of like opposites here, but uh, Unrecord was super viral because it literally looked like real life body cam footage, kind of like that fish eye lens that you have on like police officers or people that are skiing down a mountain or something like that. This guy went into a building, shot some people, and it looked like the most realistic first person shooter ever. This is a really good faithful rendition of a mobile version of that game. And I understand it's not got like online, it's got it's not got HUD customization or all that other type of stuff. It's in a very primitive state. It's basically a demo game. But uh, fact of the matter is, is this game literally looks better than almost any other mobile FPS game. And if this developer chooses to continue developing this thing further, maybe they're going to add some sort of offline mode with bots or other stuff like that. Or maybe you can actually leave this building and go further outside. I don't really know. It's crazy. It's freaking awesome. And it's one of the best looking mobile games I have ever seen in my entire life. Only surpassed by a couple of other games that we're going to be talking about in this very video. So this is Record. It's a brand new game available for Android for sure. I'm not 100% sure about iOS. You can search up the name on iOS though and see. You can let me know down below in the comments if it is available for iOS devices. But uh, yeah, it's basically a demo game where you can run around in this little warehouse that's very abandoned. It looks like body cam footage, that fish, fish eye lens type of thing. And uh, it's honestly just a really freaking cool game. There's not much else that you can do about it. And I think with that being said, we can move on to the next game. The next game I'd like to show you is Modern Warfare Mobile. This is a fan favorite game that I've talked about many times in past videos. Modern Warfare Mobile is made by one guy in China known as DY Visual Media. 
He has an entire YouTube channel showcasing his development of his game, and he's gone from a very primitive looking game with just some weapons to actually adding zombies and full-on executions and beautiful looking maps that, you know, you might have downloaded from the Unreal Engine store, but fact of the matter is, is you can actually play it on mobile devices. There is a download for Android, and do keep in mind, it's going to be a game that's going to be extremely intensive for your device. So, like, don't think you can download this thing on a $50 phone and expect it to run with 60 FPS because it's not. It's not. It's actually kind of hard to run on my own phone. So, I mean, you know, if it can't run for me with a gaming phone, it's probably not going to run very well for most people. But this game is essentially Modern Warfare Mobile. It's got a lot of the same weapons. It's got inspections. It's got some of the same reloads. And it's got the same looking operators from Modern Warfare. You have executions, you have soap dancing, which is just the most ridiculous thing. I can't even believe that's a thing in this game. But hey, since it is a fan-made game and this guy isn't making any money off of it, he's not releasing it publicly, he can do whatever he wants with this game. And I'm super excited to continue seeing what the development will be in a few months or so or something like that. Because I really think this guy has this vision to make this a pretty complete game. It's never going to be an online game because then he would actually have big issues with Activision. But I feel like this could be a game that you could have offline mode with bots. Maybe you can create custom rooms with custom rules and stuff like that. If he literally has the characters dancing in the game, he might actually add some pretty ridiculous rules. Like imagine, you know, modern warfare with zero gravity or something like that. I don't know. I'm just thinking up random stuff here. But uh, this guy is an amazing developer and he is definitely somebody that you should subscribe to to continue seeing development of the game. And um, yeah, that's modern warfare mobile. However, now we got to continue on with a game that everybody's talking about right now, Arena Breakouts. Arena Breakout has finally released globally. I've talked about this game for like over a year, and I'm so excited that it's finally out globally. This is an extraction style shooter similar to Escape from Tarkov. In fact, it's so similar that the own developers of Arena Breakout are literally calling it Tarkov Mobile, okay? It's better than Lost Lights, and it's one of the best mobile FPS games right now. It's super realistic, super hardcore, super gritty. It's not like this beautiful, colorful game where, you know, you have cartoony characters and stuff like that. It looks dark and depressing and what a real life war zone should be like, you know? You have a wide variety of different maps. You have so many different items and weapons and customizability for your own weapons. You have different missions that different characters give you in the game. You know, for instance, you can collect an envelope and deliver it to a doctor, and then you can get some weapons and other items from that. And the whole idea with this game is you go into the battlefield, you collect as much gear as possible, you shoot as many enemies as possible, and then you try to get to one of the extraction points without dying. If you die, you lose everything that you brought into the battlefield. And on the contrary, if you don't die, you get to keep everything that you brought out of the battlefield. So you can go to a high traffic area, kill a bunch of people, get some really good loot. And if you can successfully leave, you've just got a massive head start in the game. But if you bring all of your best items into the battlefield and you lose, it's pretty much back to the beginning and it really freaking sucks. But uh, it's an awesome game and I cannot recommend this enough for everybody to try out. You can download it right now for both iOS and Android devices, and I will continue to say, as long as, you know, a bunch of other games don't come out right now, it's probably the best mobile FPS game that you can play right now in summer 2023. The developers have big plans for Arena Breakout. I'm so excited to share more with you whenever I can actually share more information, but uh, yeah, it's a really exciting game. Now, the second to last game that I'm going to show you all in this video is a game that I've actually talked about in a past video. It's literally just called RTX Mobile Game, and I will be putting the download down below in the description for Android devices, but uh, don't expect a complete game here. This is another demo game, pretty much just a test, just like the first one that we showed in this video. I think the whole idea for this game is the developer wanted to see what was possible with mobile gaming processors. I think this is a map that you can just download off of the Unity store. I don't think they created it themselves. I think it's a pretty easy thing that you can just download and put into a game. But it actually runs on mobile devices with pretty consistent 30 FPS. And it's awesome. You can run around, you can jump. And if this developer ever chooses to add more stuff into this game, I think people would love this. I mean, imagine if a game like Arena Breakout had graphics like this. You know how hard it would be to actually see any enemies in that? What we're seeing right here? It would be so difficult. Anybody wants to hide in these grasses right here and every single thing moves. All of the leaves moves. It's not just like static. 
standing still, just like, uh, you know, other games that you might have played in the past. It's just a really cool looking test game that shows what's possible with mobile gaming processors. Yeah, that's the end of the map right there. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, well, we're not going to go that way. We're going to go this way. And it's just cool. I don't know. I, I feel like some of you guys might be interested in trying this out yourself. It is a few hundred megabytes in size. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't really waste space on your phone. But in a video where we're talking all about the best looking mobile games, this sort of has to be in that list because, I mean, look at it. Freaking look at it. It's 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 awesome. It's one of the best looking games ever. And at least you should know about it. If you're not going to download it, you should at least know about this game. Ooh, there's a cave down there. I wonder what's down there. Maybe we'll have to explore that a bit later on. But uh, yeah, that is the RTX mobile game. Really cool game. However, we've got to move on to the final game of this video. And this game is called Hijacker Jack. Hijacker Jack is available right now for both iOS and Android devices. And it's a really interesting concept for a mobile game. I think the developers literally flew to Malta or wherever other island that they made the entire storyline set in. They recorded a bunch of footage and then they basically turned this footage into a video game. So you have all of this text at the bottom. You can hear the characters talking and it's literally like a first person view from a real life person. There are real people in the video and they even add firearms into the game there are vehicles that you can drive and they've actually recorded different scenes so for instance if you're driving an atv and you go one direction they're going to kind of have the story play out one way and then if you go another direction the story is going to play out a different way so it's kind of like one of those games where you can select the path of where you want the story to go but it's set in real life and you can play it on mobile devices and it is crazy. I did a whole video playing this game a couple of years ago on my channel and I would like to show more of it on camera, but unfortunately that video literally got age restricted. I think it actually thinks that there's real weapons in that video and that's why the video is age restricted. I'm hoping this video is not gonna get age restricted, but if that amounts to anything to a true realistic looking mobile game, if YouTube thinks it's a real gun and then flags the video, that shows how realistic it looks because it's not gonna flag an Arena Breakout video. It's not gonna flag a Call of Duty video because it understands it's a video game. Hijacker Jack is a video game, but I don't even think YouTube can comprehend that. That's how realistic it is. It is crazy. And uh, I thought it was fitting to talk about this game at the very end of this video because it is a game that you can download for both iOS and Android. I didn't wanna just show games that you can only play on Android though. Unfortunately, a lot of these demo games, games that aren't fully out yet, are usually only for Android. However, two of the games that I talked about in this video, Arena Breakout and Hijacker Jack, are available for iOS, and I really hope you all did enjoy this video. Mobile gaming is in a really good spot right now. There are so many cool games coming out, and if you want to know about all of the coolest looking mobile FPS games, and other genres, to be fair, that are coming out right now in 2023, you might want to subscribe to my channel because I make videos on everything. Assassin's Creed Mobile. Mobile, Firefront Mobile FPS, the new Apex Legends Mobile. I make videos on everything. So if any of that is interesting to you, subscribe, leave a like. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next episode.